everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we're back on Fullcraft today. This should be episode 12, and today we're going to have a little bit of fun. Uh, but before I do that, I want to show you what we did in the last stream. If you remember, in the uh, last uh, video, I did a room. I created a room that was for my mechanical room for the various extractors, and during the stream that we took place on, uh, I believe, Thursday night, we worked on upgrading these, and so mm -hmm. we now have a Tier 5 ore extractor. We're waiting on some of the materials that this produces to upgrade to six. And we have a tier two of the resource miter. We have a tier two nano beacon and we have a tier two botanic. Now the interesting thing is, and this is what we're gonna be working on today, is that this uh, nanobot beacon has these modifiers, regen modifier. We put some other modifiers in here. So if you can see here, we have strength, resistance, regeneration, and fire resistance. And that's really cool. But what we want to do today okay is we're going to make this the creative flight modifier yes that's right tinker is going to be flying by the end of this episode has to be done now a lot of this stuff we have already but this and this two elytras we need to get so today we're going to go and go to the end and uh, from there we're going to see if we can get some elytras and hopefully come back and make this recipe and have creative flight won't that be cool so uh yeah we're going to do that in just a second but first, before I get going, I want to say, hey, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I need all the subscriptions I can get. Try to break into that, you know, 1,000 subscriber limit that YouTube has put on all of us kind of new YouTubers. So uh, if you could do that, please, that'd be great. Also, if you like this video, please click like button. And uh, if you like the series full craft, let me know. Put them in the comments. Anyway, we're going to head out in just a second. I've got most of the gear with me. So uh, a couple seconds, we're going to head to the end. Chevro and Candy had already found an end portal, so they put a waystone here. They kind of blocked it off so we're nice and safe. And uh, there it is. So we're going to go in, and then we're going to uh, head to the end. So thank you, guys. I'm flying out over the void from the island there, and we should have come up to the islands, which is great. Here they are. And so we're going to be out here. We're going to be looking around for the end cities. And when I get to the next clip, we should probably find one, hopefully with a ship and an elytra. So... We're just going to do some exploring. Have fun. Aha. Okay, here's the first ship. Uh, it may have already been explored, but there's a dragon head on it, so we'll try to see if we can get that. But let's go see if we can find the elytra first. Sounds like there might be somebody in here. There he is. Look, he's got something on his head. That's funny. There we go. And elytra number one is ours. There it is. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, a common case. That's okay. We don't really need a common case. Let's just grab some of this stuff. A rare one. Excellent. We're doing pretty good. I don't really need a lot of stuff, but I just need to find another elytra. So we're close. I'm going to stick this into my pouch here so that all this stuff that we have here gets safely stored away. Isn't that cool? Okay, let's go exploring some more. Before I forget, let's see if I can get this head here. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. We got the dragon head. Okay, continuing on. Here's the second end city. And we have another ship. And is someone already hit this? I don't know. Dragon head's still there. Let's go see here. Hopefully it's here and then we can get out of the end. This would be really nice. Let's take this too. Oh, and there's somebody in here. Let's kill him. And if he's there, and we can see the elytra. Yeah, we got this. And there it is. We got a second elytra. Let's loot here. An angel crystal. That seems interesting. I don't know what that's for. Some more materials here. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's go out here. Let's go get the head of the uh, dragon. And then we'll uh, head back. So it's right up here. Get it. There we go. Come on. Excellent. Uh-oh. Oh, no. We're flying. That's too bad. Here we go, back to base. Like that, we're done. That's excellent. Okay, let's go back and get some sleep here. And let's start working on this uh, creative flight. We are back. And everything's in the, the system. And when you hit the creative, it makes this. When you hit this right here and try to make it, you can see it makes everything except for that centerpiece. And that's what we need to build. And that is the fluxed, infused jet plate. Now, it has a lot of things we, that you need here. But the first one I want to work on here is a resident jetpack. I have a resonant jetpack, but this one has to be armored. 
So we take the jetpack and the armor. So we're going to make all of this armor type. So let's work on this first. Looks like a Enderium and then Invar and then Bronze and then a bunch of these plates here, which is just 10 and that. So let's make a bunch of these. Right? Let's make 10. I believe you need 10. Um, here we go. We have 10 iron, and then we got that. So in an induction smelter, we don't have an induction smelter that I'm aware of. So let me go and build that. Okay, the induction smelter. Need a machine frame. We'll do that. We need, of course, you need to have the uh, gear there. Maybe I should automate some of this. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think I should. Okay, and we'll need that. Fortunately, we have most of this stuff here in our inventory, so this doesn't take very long at all. And there we have an induction smelter. Now I need to get someplace with power. And uh, we're going to put it right here because it's got power off of the power line. There it goes. Okay, so now if we're back to the creative here, centerpiece. We need to make that, which takes bronze and the iron. So let's get the iron things out of there. I think I put it back up in the inventory. Uh, there's the 10 plates. I got 11 of those. And we need bronze, huh? Oh, gee, we got that. So we'll throw it over here. And I believe this is like that. And there we go. Now it's not that fast, so we'll have to wait for a little bit. And when we get back, it'll be done. I don't quite understand what's going on here. This was working fine. It made six and then it just stopped. I have power. Everything's running. It's got the right stuff, but for some reason it's not working. None of the buttons seems to change anything. And I don't know why that is. I'm not lagging. Um, you can see things are running over here. It's just everything's working, but this thing just decided to up and stop. I'm going to move it and see what happens because that's very strange. Let's see. If I put it over here on this side, maybe unlock. You put that there and put this here. It should be going and it's not. Um, does anybody know a reason why this would all of a sudden stop? It made six and then stopped. I don't understand it. I'm still not sure what's going on. I made another induction smelter and I'll see it's getting power there. I'll take this off. Now notice this, this is off. It says metallurgical flux slot unlocked. Okay. That's the same thing we have here. Flux slot unlocked. And let's see if this works. I have no clue. Those are iron armor platings. And it should make the bronze plating. Interesting. I'm at a loss here because it was working fine and it just stopped. This is very strange. Let me do some more research. Okay. I am an idiot sometimes. It takes 10 bronze to do it. <laughs> and so, of course, it's going to stop because it didn't have 10 bronze blocks. Okay. Does that make sense? So, if I have this four in here, I put this. Now it'll work. I'm dumb. <laughs> it happens. I didn't realize how it was one to one, and it's actually one to ten. So, there you know. You can make it. Don't make the same mistake I did. You can uh, learn from my mistake. Okay, we're going to continue on here. It's going to make these here, and then I'm going to need more invar, it looks like. So, let's go grab some more invar. Uh, I thought I was like, oh, this is easy. It's not so easy. Fortunately, I have a lot of the materials, so we should be good to go. So, we're going to start this right now here. And there we go. We have that 10. And we take that and we're going to throw some invar at it. And in a little bit, we'll have the uh, invar, uh, what do you call it, the armor platings. Okay? So we'll wait for that. I'll see if I can gather the other materials that we need. So I've been making lots of mistakes today. I misread this. If you look back here with the creative, we were trying to make this piece here. It only takes one of these. Okay, it only takes one of that and 10 of these. I just thought I had to make 10 of those. That's what I've been doing here. Uh, yeah, I made a mistake. So it's that and you need 10 of these. And it makes the piece we need. I was just, I don't know what I was thinking. You have to forgive me for that. But uh, <laughs> we all make mistakes. I'm, you know, trying to get through it. I'm really excited, I guess, to make this uh, creative flight. So uh, anyway, we have it here. And there it is. And we should be able just to put in the, in the, uh, what you call it, a crafting table, put the two together, right? Sounds like somebody is visiting my base. There we go, the resonant jetpack is armored, and there it is, okay. And who's visiting my base? I'm not sure, it looks like Jude is here somewhere. 
Uh, he's hanging out. Okay, we're going to move on in just a second for the next piece. Oh, whoa, there he is with his hat. Hello. <laughs> Jude has just recently joined us, and if you don't know, he's on uh, YouTube, and he also does some Twitch streams. Jude1C9V. Uh, give him a look if you want to see some more of what's going on on our Fullcraft server. All right, the next part we need for this flux infused jet plate, you see this right here, these uh, flux armor platings. And look, we got more of this. So we have eight here plus the other two. So we need to make 10 fluxed armored platings, and that's the recipe for it. So we have got to get a lot of signalium. Now, I have been making signalium, so we have a bunch of that. So let's just grab a bunch of this, and I'm going to do it outside of there so it does it right. There we go. We have a bunch of the nuggets. So we should basically have enough for what we're trying to do here. We need 10 of those. So let's do that right now. Back to the creative. I like going in this way. 10 of these, huh? Right, there we go. And if we do eight here, we have that. There we go, okay. So now when we go into here, we try to put this, we have this and we know we already have the jet pack, so that's good. So what we need to do next, let's see. Hmm. Well, we're probably gonna have to do this piece next, which is the resonant flux pack. This is a big rabbit hole. Because you can see it takes another one of these platings, which we know how to do the plating. Um, but it goes all the way down. Reinforced flux pack, number one. It takes an energy cell and some stuff. So we're going to have to build this now. Do we have enough to make an energy cell? No. Uh, so where is, what was that called again that I was making? Oh, golly. I should uh, write this down. I wish they had a back button. Wouldn't that be nice? So we're making uh, this piece. We need to make the energy cell. Okay, so uh, let's try to do that real quick here. I may have an energy cell already. Nope. Energy cell where is it right here frame probably takes the gear here we go gear and we got that part there we go probably need that too there we go it's good when you have lots of resources there we go okay so we have that excellent now we're back to the i gotta remember what it's called too the creative block going to that going to here resonant Flux pack is what we're making. Flux pack. A leather strap. There we go. And we're making the, not the creative flux, but the leadstone flux pack. Oh, I didn't like the energy cell. And there it is. Okay, we got that. So now, what's the next one up? We're going to basically go all the way up to the thing. So the next one is this right here, which is the resonance. Oh, we got to make a reinforced energy cell. Oh, so we got a lot to do here. I'm going to spend some time doing this off camera and going through the rabbit hole. I'm just going through like this, going to the next one, the next one until we have the piece we need. Um, I don't want to bore you with that, so we'll get through it. If you need any help with that, put a comment and I'll try to talk you through it. To get the various things like the reinforce and all the other types of uh, energy cells, make a regular energy cell and then use the upgrade kits. Reinforced takes the harden and then takes the upgrade or the reinforced upgrade. And you can see it's kind of yellow. The next one I also need, I need to get this one, which is using the signalium and then the resonant right there. Okay, and that's what I'm using for this next recipe. So that's how you do that, if in case you didn't know. I just thought I would make that tip. Okay, almost done here. We're gonna get this one armor plating, now that I know how to do this correctly. And we'll add it to the resonant flux pack and now it will be armored. So here we go, just like this. And now we have the armored flux pack okay so that gets us even closer to the whole thing that we want to do here so let's go look here back to the creative flight okay and we have now we have these two so now we got to get two of these and two of these the fluxed thruster looks like it takes more of this and takes some glowstones and a resonant thruster so we're going to need how many resonance thrusters first Two of those. Each one of these takes one of those. So we're going to have to make two of these sections here. It takes destabilized redstone and some enderium and other things. We have most of this stuff, but uh, this might take a little bit to get. But we'll, we'll get there. So now I'm going to work on getting some of this stuff. Um, like Again, I won't bore you with how I'm doing it. We'll just go through and get it done here in a couple seconds. All right, we're working on these flux thrusters. And I've already made the resonant thruster. That was pretty easy. And these are easy signaliums and more of these armor platings. What we need to get is glowstone elevation unit. And if you look here, it just takes energized glowstone, which is very easy to get, and a glowstone elevation unit that's empty, okay? So what I have done here is I have a magma crucible that takes the glowstone from here and creates energized glowstone, and I'm taking it buckets-wise over to the fluid transposer. 
So there you go. Now I have made two of the elevation units and so if I put those in here they should eventually here fill up and we'll have that piece. So that means in a couple seconds we will have the stuff we need to make these two pieces which is really cool. So if we make if we look at it here we have basic all of these we just have to do the cryothium coolant unit. And again it's another one of these empty things which is fairly easy to do. And then we need to get gelid cryothium. And that's going to be kind of interesting. Another magma crucible of cryothium dust. We have cryothium dust already, so we should be pretty good to go here in just a little bit. I'm going to get these pieces here and get this done, and then we'll get the, what we need for the next part. And hopefully we'll have this built pretty quickly. This should be the last one. There it is, the last cryothium cooling unit. We have two of those, and we're good. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's see if we can do this. Here's the creative. We're trying to make this piece here. We'll say do that. And of course it doesn't pill in these pieces and we don't know why, but there it is. The flux infused jet plate. Now I'm gonna put it here for now and it has everything else. And if we do this right, creative flight modifier right there. I hope that works because it consumed my uh, jet pack in this process. So uh, hopefully this will work. Let's go see. So I don't have flight now at all, but if I go down to the mechanical room, we should uh, be able to put this in and everything works. So let's just hope there isn't any some sort of power requirement or some other thing. Well, that would be bad, wouldn't it? Okay, so we're going over here. This is the nanobot beacon, and I'm going to take out one of these. This is a this like lighter gray as a null modifier. Take that out. There it is. It's gone. I'm going to put this in, and there it is. I heard a ding. Somebody's up there. My elevator's gone. And look, I'm flying. I have created flight now. So that's it. We are flying without a jetpack. It's now quiet. Oh, that's great. Fantastic. We're at the end of our ship. We're going to take off. Look at that. We can fly. We can fly. Oh, I should sing, but I don't sing. So there we go. So yes, uh, we're doing pretty well here. This is the 12th episode, and we have creative flight abilities without a jetpack and without the angel ring. So we're doing really well. Uh, this is this is going to be fun now. And I do have the jump boots, so if I do happen to fall, uh, I should not take damage from it, which is good. I don't know if you do take damage from it if you don't have them. But anyway, I don't have to worry about it, so no big deal. So I think that's all I'm going to have for for today. I'm going to uh, go after this. I'm going to edit the video out and then render it and get it uploaded to YouTube. Uh, it should be out later today. Today is Saturday. And then uh, tomorrow, Sunday, I will be streaming at 7 o'clock Eastern, usually 7 to 9, maybe a little longer. Uh, go to twitch.tv slash tinker77live, and you'll find me there. And then, uh, yeah, so we'll have a lot of fun, and uh, hope you join me. So if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comments section. And, of course, if you're new here or you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That really does help out those of us who are the YouTube content creators. YouTube has been very stingy lately and uh, getting up to a thousand subscribers is my newest goal. And anything you can do to help would be greatly appreciated. So until next time, everybody, have a great day. Bye-bye.